some of you've probably heard about this already. Uh, Governor Greg Abbott uh, signed a abortion bill recently. Uh, this is article by the Austin American Statement. Governor Greg Abbott signed a law Wednesday legislation that prohibits abortions once a fetal heartbeat is detected, effectively banning most abortions in the state. And uh, a heartbeat is really misleading here because it's the fetus does not have a heart, so it cannot have a heartbeat. Um, it's just uh, blood pumping through it from the mother. Uh, the restriction puts Texas at the vanguard among states challenging the boundaries of Roe v. Wade, the 1973 landmark Supreme Court case that established a woman's legal right to an abortion. So, you know, that's right for you know roughly 50 years. This has been the law of the land. Uh, women have had a right to an abortion. And um, you constantly have Republicans, you know, fear-mongering about it, saying that women are just going and getting as many abortions as they can, um, you know, slut-shaming, etc. And they also complain about things that don't exist, like late-term abortions. Um, those are not a widespread thing. They only happen whenever... The mother's life is in danger, so they uh, they talk about like they make up stories about like doctors aborting like nine month old like babies out of mothers, and that's just something that doesn't happen. Um, the bill said sailed through the Senate and House despite fervent opposition from Democrats flanked by Republican lawmakers. Is uh. Capitol Office Abbott made good on his promise to sign the bill at a ceremony that was close to the media and broadcast on Facebook. Of course, they wouldn't have the media there. And uh, I remember the picture, Greg Abbott um, got room full of white dudes and like there's a few women there and whenever he signed the bill. So uh, it's really, really clear who... Uh, is controlling women's rights here here in America. It's not women. Um, well, I meant to say in Texas, but I guess like America is an accurate. Uh, I guess it's accurate to say in America too. Our Greg Abbott said, "Our Creator endowed us with the right to life, and yet millions of children lose their right to life every year because of abortion." Abbott said before. Signing the bill. In Texas, we work to save those lives, and that's exactly what the Texas legislature did this session. Only they don't really care about life. <clears throat> they care about they pretend to care about hypothetical life. Um all last year, while Americans and Texas Texans were being killed by COVID nineteen, Governor Greg Abbott constantly downplayed it. He uh, tried to force people to go back to work when obviously we're in a pandemic or we were in a pandemic. We're coming out of it now, but uh, we were deep into a pandemic. And Texas was one of the worst states, too. So we have we had high COVID numbers. And I remember last summer he was pushing us to go back to work. And even his lieutenant governor... Greg Abbott, I mean, Dan Patrick, not Greg Abbott. Um, Dan Patrick said that he thought that there was plenty of grandparents that would gladly go back to uh, work to save the economy. So give you an idea of these people's priorities. It's not, it's not saving us. It's not, they don't care about us. They don't care about your life. They don't care about my life. They care about their pocketbook and the well-being of their donors. So whenever they're um, making wild claims about abortion, it's it's only to demonize women because they don't actually expect to uh, overturn Roe v. Wade, I don't think. In 2020, the state reported about 53,000 abortions occurred, according to 
data from the Texas Health and Human Services Commission. The data shows that the number of abortions performed in Texas annually has declined dramatically since 2001, and that's accurate. Uh, abortions have been on a uh, trend of decline, and that's because more people are getting on other forms of contraceptives, so they don't, people don't need to have abortions. Like, they're, they're acting like there's just so many abortions that it's like, uh, there's just like a bunch of babies being killed, and that's just not true. There's less abortions happening, more people on contraceptives, and they're whining about something that, like, was decided 50 years ago. The abortion law becomes effective September 1st. There's not a specific time frame tied to SB8. Fetal heartbeats can be detected as early as six weeks. Um, gestation or six weeks from a woman's last menstrual period, not since the start of her pregnancy. According to the American Congress of Obstetricians and Gynecologists, <clears throat> when a heartbeat is detected, that innocent unborn life is protected, tweeted Representative Shelby Slauson, um, author of an identical bill in the House, also a Republican. Opponents of the law, which goes into effect September 1st, argue that it would prohibit abortions from before most women are even aware that they are pregnant. I think the way the timing up, the way it times out is like they'd have like about two weeks to realize that they were pregnant and then schedule an abortion. So it's ridiculous. Mm. For a person with a normal menstrual cycle, that's a, yeah, that's about only two weeks. It says right here. When you factor in the time it takes to confirm a pregnancy, consider your options and make a decision schedule an appointment, and comply with all the restrictions politicians have already put in place for patients and providers. A six-week ban essentially bans abortions outright. The proposal was part of an aggressive agenda from abor abortion opponents during this year's legislative session, which included numerous proposals designed to se severely limit the availability of the procedure. With an eye to the changing power dynamics of the Supreme Court, since conservatives now hold a six to three majority on the high court. And while that's true, there's been recent uh, cases where there was like an abortion lawsuit and they still struck it down saying that they weren't interested in overturning precedent. And that's like one of the big jobs of the Supreme Court is to recognize precedent and um, go with that. But even like, it seems like even like a Republican Supreme Court still does that, even though it's, I don't know, it's still possible that they might overturn it, which would be a pretty bad thing to happen, but... Um, Federal judges have blocked similar laws in other states, but proponents of the legislation in Texas are hopeful that prohibiting public officials from enforcing the law and leaving it up to private citizens to sue violators. See, like, I don't get, I don't get why it's up to just like other people. That doesn't, that doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. You're going to have people accusing people of having abortions who haven't even like been pregnant. Like, it's ridiculous. That's that's exactly what like MAGA people do though. They if you don't agree with them or they don't they don't agree with something you said, you're a pedophile. Or in this case, you've had an abortion. You're you're gonna go to jail, you're gonna get fined. Cause I said you had an abortion. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's about it. And uh, like it says in the corner, Greg Abbott is up for re-election next year. 
November 8th, you know, so if you're thinking about that, we're, you know, this close to uh, being a blue state. I mean, I don't really want a milk toast Democrat, but if we get if we get Abbott out, it's a, a net good. It's a matter of life and death for some people, so it's important, which I don't really like incrementalism, but <clears throat> it'd be a step in the right direction here in Texas, at least. So, and Republicans definitely don't care about you. Greg Abbott doesn't care about you. Um, Dan Patrick doesn't care about you. And uh, Ted Cruz doesn't care about you. He, uh, while uh, America... While uh, Texans here were freezing, he um, went to Cancun. So, and people died. Anyway, this is just something I, f I thought that would be important to cover. I'll talk to y'all later.